I started side hustling my business about 11 months ago ish, 12 months ago. And I quit my full-time job March 1st. So not that long ago. Did I replace my full-time income before I quit? Absolutely. I did not. I just really wanted to quit and I saved up a lot of money. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this thing a full go. In March, I was in a bad place. I was like, oh my God, I am not making enough income. I was in the scarcity mindset. And I had a really big shift in April and was like, you know what? I'm going to make this work. I decided to build a business to build something that I love and have purpose and that gives me energy. And it's up to me to do that. I met Diana on April 1st. She was introduced to me by uh, Mooney, which probably a lot of you guys know from LinkedIn. And I was like, look, I just got back from Mexico one week ago. I was at my friend's bachelorette. I was like, I don't need a vacation right now. I need to focus. I need to just build. I don't need another mastermind. I don't need another investment you know, opportunity. I've invested a lot in coaches and business coaches and all the things. And by the end of the week, she was like, so you're saying yes, right? And I was like, oh, damn it. She asked me. And I in that, I told her yes on the phone Thursday night. Friday morning, I woke up and I was like, oh my God, this is scary. I've never invested so much at once in myself. This feels crazy because I don't even really have much of a business yet. And here I am going on this career coach mastermind, going on vacation to hang out with people. And I was at a coffee shop and I there was a literal earthquake, which I live in New York City. Like there's not earthquakes here. And that to me was a reminder that like, it was literally God saying like, remember, I can move the earth. And I was like, damn, okay, like, I guess I'm gonna do it. Um, and I went to the mastermind like two weeks later, nobody knew who I was. Everybody was like, cool, nice to meet you. Like, new person. And by the end of the second night, everybody was telling me like the spirit and the fire that they saw within me, which is the exact same thing Diana said the first time I talked to her. And I almost didn't go because I don't want to be a career coach, which is you're probably like, why would you go on this thing? But that's like kind of the identity that I had. And it was in interacting with everyone that I realized that I bring something special to the table. And I do a lot of like deeper transformational work on energetics, becoming your future self and really shifting your identity and transforming yourself. And by going on this retreat, I was stepping into my future self and it better enables me to help my clients, um, future clients, current clients do the same. And so somebody was asking like, what was a tangible outcome? For me, I immediately came back and changed my one-on-one -on -one offer to provide different options, increase my prices, change my positioning to include more of the energetics as I help people transition to new careers. But I also was like, you know what? I want to step into this bigger calling that I have to serve people in a more transformational way. And I started outlining and building the group program that um, is really going to do that. For me, it was a life-changing experience. The personal relationships, you cannot build that the same way online. You just can't. So that will, that was definitely be something that I will carry with me. And the, the group chat is my go-to.